morning, Rose. Shh. Giovanni, what are you doing here? Where's Anna? You've, you've not... Calm down, Rob. Nothing happened. Anna has been a good friend to me. I needed to talk and she let me stay. Mm-hmm. Where is she now? Well, she's asleep. We were awake late. Sorry about that. Okay. I need to take my mind off my problem. Okay. Do you want coffee? Yeah. Oh my God, your house is so beautiful, like, amazing. You are very lucky. Thank you, but uh, I wouldn't say we're exactly lucky. Sorry, I didn't mean... It's okay, I know exactly what you meant. Yes, we're fortunate enough to have a lovely house and nice things in it, but it's not luck that gets it, that's hard work. And unfortunately, all the money in the world can't buy me what I'd really like. Sorry, Rob. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset It's OK. It's OK. Don't worry about it. How'd you take your coffee? Hello, love. Oh, hello. Um, welcome to my psychic emporium. What would you like me to divine for you today? Well, I'd like to ask you about a particular person. She's rather off, and I don't know why. Wait, so you're not here to ask a love-related question? No, I'm not into that kind of thing. Yes! At last! Something not related to love! (laughs) Finally. Isn't you... He's your friend, right? Yeah. So why is mean to me? He is very strange from the man I met in Italy. He was so caring and so friendly. No, he treats me like I'm a slave, like he ignores me or shouts at me. It doesn't sound like Andy. I mean, I know he's got a lot on his plate and everything with the bar, but, uh, well, he's just got a lot on his mind. Yeah, like Lauren. She's always interesting now. But he's too blind to see that she does not care. I'm sure he's no fool. I think he is. We had this crazy road the other day and he told me about Emilia. Well, I think he's right about Emilia. But he's too blind to see that Lauren is the same. They both work for Clinty. Clinty? Who's Clinty? Uh, okay, um, what do you want to ask you about? I'd like to ask you about this woman. She's a little bit like you, your age, and she's a bit snooty. Oh, you mean Amelia? Yeah, do you know her? A bit. She works for my brother, you know. Oh. Well... There is something else. Okay. Ryan. Ryan? I just want to know if she's really the niece of my friend, Marge. And I do believe that she's squatting in her house. Well, it is uh, hard to say for certain. If I perhaps had a picture of this Marge, I'd be able to tell. Do you have a picture? Well, not on me now. We kissed? Mm, I don't know what to think. I'm very confused. I left straight away and we didn't talk soon. Wow, um, so... Are you... Ignore that question, it doesn't matter. Um, What I can give you, though, is a warning. If what you think of Amelia is true, then she won't be going away willingly. It will get messy. Oh, well, don't worry about that. Because I can get messy too. Did he kiss back? Yeah, he kissed back. Uh, Well, you know, it's probably just a drunken mistake. We weren't drinking. We didn't have any alcohol. Um, You know, I I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's, uh, you know, he's probably as confused as you. Doesn't know what to do, say. Ryan's, he's, he's cool, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine and you'll still be good friends. I really hope so. I've got a question for you. Am I? Right. Shall I have the soup or the bacon butty? Thank you so much. You're a good listener. Anna is very lucky to have you as a father. <laughs> Try telling her that. <laughs> so what do you think, Beryl? I'm loving the silver. I do as well. It's just a case of getting used to it. 
Amelia came by the other day. Mm. And what did she have to say about me? Well, I didn't like the fact she called you a nosy old cow. You just don't seem a sort at all. I'm oh, no, nothing like that, am I, Ryan? Well, there is something dodgy about her. I just can't put my finger on it. Mm, there is, isn't there? Well, if I've got anything to do about it, I'll sort this one out. <laughs> Whatever we say in the salon, stays in the salon. Yeah, definitely, Ryan. So, what were you and Andy whispering about? Never you mind. If we wanted you to know, we wouldn't have left the room. Yeah, I just heard the police being mentioned. Somebody's gone missing. Who? Walter, you didn't know him. Mm. He lodged with Ryan. So, why so secretive? No reason. Just didn't want to spook you and Sammy, that's all. <laughs> yeah, right. You seemed awfully happy for someone who just found out somebody had gone missing. That was regarding other news. What other news? Like I said, never you mind, nosy Parker. Mm. If we wanted you to know, we wouldn't have left the room. Now, buzz off. Parents. Just find out what you can from him. Shouldn't be too hard for you. That's fine, I'll talk to him tonight. Oh, you. Oh, here we go. Hiya, Beryl. You are alright, love? Pop around mine again tonight. I'll get wine in for us, you know. Tell me what gossip about town. You're right, little madam, aren't you? Don't think I'm going to forget this anytime soon. Oh, Beryl, I'm worried about you. The anger, the paranoia, all signs of dementia, you know. Mm. Well, you've got this lot fooled here, but you haven't got me fooled with your act. You are just a sad, lonely old woman. Who's going to believe you anyway? Is that right? Whoa, <laughs> calm down, love. We wouldn't want to have an accident now, would we? Who are you? A uh, bodyguard? I've sorted bigger men out than you in my time. I bet you have. Oh, you make me sick the pair of you. Well, I'm coming for you. I haven't forgot. What the hell was all that about? It's obvious, isn't it? She's delusional. Is this something you're not telling me? No. You better not be lying to me, Amelia. I'm not. It's nothing for you to worry about anyway. I can handle her. <sighs> Hi, um, have a minute. Um, don't know if you're supposed to make a booking or anything. Uh, yeah, sure, take a seat and cool. I'm just gonna... Um, so it's my dad. I am trying to get him into like a healthier lifestyle, but he doesn't have to make it difficult. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm the child parenting the parent here. Yeah, actually, I'm just the... <laughs> I mean, you know, I know family comes first and everything. If my mum was here, she would know what to do. I wish none of this had come to me. So do all who come to see such times, but that is not for us to decide. All we have to do is decide what to do with the time that is given to us. Isn't that, um... No. No, mm. it isn't. Carry on. Okay. So I just want to know if there's anything I should look out for, you know, any signs or premonitions for the future. Your future is not written yet. Nobody's is. That's Back to the Future. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's a classic. I know, right? No, I mean, the, the ball says the things you and I... You actually charge people for this. Look, I tried to tell you at the beginning, and then you started, and it got weird, and then I thought I was helping, and... He's right behind me, isn't he? Hi. Damn it. Alright, mate. Yes, I'm fine. It's just, I'm getting such a bad vibe right now. Well, why is that, then? Well, it's that man with the newspaper. I don't know what it is, but there is something off about him. What are you talking about? It's just another customer. Hello, Amela. Long time no see. Oh, my God. <laughs> Close. Not quite, but close. 